another episode of The Curvy Kitty. This is actually going to be a very quick episode. Um, I was half tempted to take a page out of my one of my favorite vloggers' um, books, Bunny, by announcing today was the day where we checked, does this thing really work? Um, but the thing I wanted to review, I refused to buy. And the reason I refused to buy is because I did get to try it. And I don't like it. Um, the thing that does not work um, is Benefit's Rollerball um, Mascara. Um, or whatever it's called. Roller whatever mascara. I do not like it, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Uh, the reason I don't like it is super thick and clumpy. Um, and some people might like thick clumpy eyelashes, but I don't. Um, I was perusing the Benefit counter today. They're actually responsible for the rest of my makeup. Um, at least the eyes. Which I actually do like. I do like it. It looks good. Um, other than the mascara part. Um, I don't know if you can see, dear viewers, but I'm going to try and get a bit closer. My eyes. Look. Oh, there you go. My eyes are very red. My eyes are very red because this shit is irritating. Um, so yeah, uh, just wanted to say that, that I do still have the rollerball wands, or whatever it's called, roller lash um, wands, and I, I will be trying just the wands um, in some product that isn't so clumpy and gross. Um, but when they were putting on the roller lash, all I could think of was how, oh, I don't know, I just felt like I was having oatmeal slathered into my eyelashes. It was really thick. Um, and I didn't really see any improvement um, in the length or the thickness, well, of my eyelashes, my curl. There was no curl. Um, I just, I, I, I didn't like it, I'm sorry. Um. And people may think that I'm completely picking on Benefit, um, because this is the second slightly negative review in a row. Um, but it's just... It's just not good. Um, I mean, by all means, if you like it, that that's absolutely fine. Um, if my, the makeup personage there was doing it wrong, let me know. But it was just, I mean, we didn't get anywhere near being able to get to these itty bitty baby lashes by the corner of my eye. Um, and she missed, or it missed, the very outer corners, which are actually the part that are the most wingy, flingy eyelashes you have. Um, so no, no, I don't like it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend buying it. So I will do a video shortly on what is actually my favorite mascara um, for the moment. And it is um, incredibly inexpensive, which is always good. Um, so yeah, just wanted to make a quick video to say that. Um, did want to let you know um, that I hit Urban Decay um, like a two-ton storm. Um, and I actually only went to pick up one thing, which is actually the one thing on my face, besides just my base, um, that is not Benefit. And that is my new Urban Decay 24-7 Pen in Naked. Now, anyone who's seen my photos or anything knows that I like red lipstick. But every girl needs good neutral. And this is a good neutral. Um, and it doesn't seem to budge. So, I slathered a bit of it. You know, stuff. And made a face out of makeup. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's great. So, I recommend buying all of these in every color. Um, I did also kind of fall prey to the amazingness that is shit by the counter. Um, when you go to check out, I also picked up some Naked Skin 
Beauty Balm, Broad Spectrum, SPF 20, Optical Blurring, and Oil Free. So, yes, I will be um, giving that a little try and seeing what I think of it. Um, and report back. I also picked up the sample size of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I have owned this in the past and I don't remember liking it that much. But I will give it another shot because science. Um, and it will be going head to head with my, if I didn't take it with me today, aha, Smashbox. Smashbox 24 hour photo from finish photo finish shadow primer based ombre en papiers or something like that. It's French. It says apply a thin layer to bare lids, wait about 60 seconds, then apply eyeshadow. So yes, head to head. We will see how those go. And um, I will also be giving you a full review of the revolutions um, dupes for the naked eyeshadows. Um, and I will use both primer potions with these to see what sticks better. I will also quickly do a um, real swatch of real, real naked palette um, in order to see if it is true that Urban Decay has more fallout regardless and how that stacks up with stuff. But yes, so I will not for the moment be stealing bunny shtick. Um, but we will come back and we will see what is what, hopefully, later this week. Thanks, guys. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, subscribe down below. Um, you can also find me on, see now I'm starting selling bunny again, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Sam Wiz, no, I'm not going to be bunny. I love you, bunny. Um, but no, you can find me at thecurvykitty.com, uh, the curvy kitty um, on Twitter, the curvy kitty blog on Tumblr, and I believe may also be the curvy kitty blog on Instagram and Pinterest. But if I'm wrong, just go to thecurvykitty.com. And there's a little roll of links where you can press it. I will also put the correct addresses down below. So please hit that button to subscribe. Um, and, you know, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.